This is a story about Mavis the Pony. <laughs> Mavis the Pony and the Buzzy Buzzy Bee, to be precise. Mavis lives in fluffy gardens. A wonderful place to live. Our story begins very carefully as Mavis the Pony gently put one foot in front of the other. She had eaten a hay sandwich and fancied a bit of air, so what better than a careful stroll around her garden? As Mavis was considering her next step, she saw her friend Wee Reg the Puppy skipping along the path towards her garden. Hello, Wee Reg, she said cheerfully. Oh, hello, Mavis said Wee Reg, wagging his little tail happily. One thing about fluffy gardens is that everyone living there loves hugs. They love to give hugs and get hugs. Mavis the Pony especially loved them. So, when Wee Reg came close, she gave him such a lovely, big, warm hug. <laughs> Wee Reg smiled. Happily. Mavis and Wee Reg played together for a little while until Mavis saw something. It was small, buzzy, yellow and black. Can you guess what it was? It was a buzzy bee. It was looking for some flowers, but as flowers made Mavis sneeze, she didn't have all that many in her garden. Said Mavis. How cute! Mavis thought the buzzy bee looked very beautiful, so beautiful, in fact, she decided to give it a big hug. Well, that wasn't very careful at all, and before Wee Reg knew what she was doing, Mavis had put her arms around the bee and was holding tight. Oh! Mavis yelped. The bee stung her right on the nose, and it was very sore. It stings, she yelled, rubbing her nose. Then she began to cry. <coughs> Poor Mavis. Wee Reg wanted to help. He put his arms out to give Mavis a hug so she would feel a little better. Don't touch me, she said, not realizing he was trying to comfort her. Really, she'd have loved a hug. Wee Reg decided to get help. He ran off and, a little while later, returned with Paolo the cat. Paolo would know what to do. Inside the house, Paolo put a pack of frozen peas on the bee sting. The cold would keep the swelling down. Will I get better? She asked tearfully. We'll keep an eye on it, said Paolo, but I think you'll be fine. Mavis was very relieved. And a few days later, she was out in her garden again. Her nose wasn't stingy anymore, and she was feeling rather happy. That is, until she saw a bee. Perhaps the same bee. Mavis yelped. Terribly frightened, she waved her arms around, trying to swat the bee away. Get away, buzzy, buzzy bee, she cried. Now, that's not usually a good idea. If you see a bee, it's often better to stay very still. So with Mavis running about waving her arms in all the confusion, the bee was startled and stung her. Oh! cried Mavis. Oh dear, poor Mavis. Mavis sat at home all that week. Her nose was red and swollen, and she was feeling very sorry for herself. In fact, it's fair to say she was miserable. Even the odd hay sandwich couldn't cheer her up. Her friends were soon very worried about her. Tootie the elephant suggested getting her a balloon. That was nice of him, wasn't it? Pertree the bear thought a trip out somewhere nice would be better. Perhaps to the seaside. 
Lola the mosquito thought it would be even better if they brought her a wheelbarrow full of jelly and custard and did a little dance on top while wearing striped pajamas. But then she is a very silly mosquito. They talked and talked about all the things they could do to help Mavis feel better. Some of them were so very complicated that even clever Paolo the cat got a little confused. But we wretch had a simple idea. Can you guess what it was? While the others were still talking, we wretch walked calmly to Mavis the pony's house. He knocked on the door. A few moments later, she opened it with big tears in her eyes. We Reg smiled. He held out his arms and gave her one of the biggest hugs you could imagine. It was so comfy and warm in Wee Reg's arms. Mavis was still very upset, but with such a big hug and being able to tell him all about it, she began to feel a little better. Much better, in fact. So, if you're ever feeling bad, or know someone else who is feeling bad, try giving them a hug. Assuming, of course, they're not a buzzy, buzzy bee.